of the evening, but we cannot end the night without honoring the tradition of hearing from one last student athlete closing remarks for tonight. And with the honors, a very high honor, mind you, first team all MPSF selection from the men's volleyball program, Setter Jennings Francisco Beach. How's it going? A uh, quick shout out to the men's volleyball team. Okay. So hello, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Jennings and I've been on the men's volleyball team for the past four years now. And like everyone in this room, I came to UH to play the sport that I love at the highest level possible. It's crazy to think that in less than a month, many of us will be graduating, moving on to the next steps in our lives, while others are just beginning their UH journeys. Looking back at my four years as a student athlete, the one thing that really sticks out to me is how fast these years go by and how much I took for granted, thinking that all I had was time. Buddha once said, do not dwell on the past, do not dream of the future, concentrate the mind on the present moment. So keep that quote in the back of your mind uh, for the rest of the speech. I'm gonna take you all through my journey here at the University of Hawaii. My career has had many ups and downs. Knowing who I am, standing before you now, I was a completely different person when I first came here four years ago. My freshman year, I was this immature, skinny 18-year-old that had no idea what to expect from this college experience. Everything that I knew was now a six-hour flight away, and I was completely on my own for the first time in my life. All I knew was that I was here for one reason, and that was volleyball. And this single thought is what consumed my mind for a lot of my time here. I was constantly thinking about what was coming next and where volleyball was gonna take me, that I missed out on what was happening around me. My vision was so narrowed on the end destination, I never stopped to think about the process and simply enjoying the little things that this island and college has to offer. So I talked about how my career has had its ups and downs. At the end of my sophomore year, we made it to the NCAAs for the first time since 2002. Following that season, I was given the opportunity to represent my country playing for the junior national team. I was on this huge volleyball high coming into my junior year, and all I could think about was all that past success I already had, and I expected that for the final two years of my career here, everything was gonna be the same. During the fall of my junior season came my first letdown and realization that despite everything that goes well in our lives, everything can change in an instant when I found out that my team had not voted me to be one of our captains. Everything I thought I was doing right and the person that I wanted to be was stripped from me, and it hurt. Then halfway through that season, I hit a wall mentally where I completely lost all confidence and my starting spot. I started doubting myself a lot and questioning what I was doing here, not only at this school, but in life. This summer, I took a complete break from volleyball. I didn't touch a ball or weight, and I truthfully de debated whether or not to even come back and play at all. I had numerous heart-to-hearts with my family and my coaches about what I was struggling with and ultimately realized that I still love my sport with all my heart. I needed to find my confidence again and make my senior year become what I wanted it to be and something that I would remember for the rest of my life. I rediscovered my passion for the game and made a commitment to myself and my teammates that this season was gonna be one that we would always remember. It started with first getting my mental strength back and realized that, again, you can never get too complacent with, with what's going on in your life. It is then that you'll start to miss out and lose sight of what is really important. You can't focus on what you have already done in the past and think that because of it, your future is gonna replicate it. Instead, you need to focus on doing the best you can in the present moment that there's a plan for you and that everything is gonna happen for a reason and work out in a way that's gonna make you better, that you can't let anything take away your joy. For me, it all started with getting the extra reps in the gym as well as in the weight room. That is something that I've found has really been the best thing for me. In this whole fall, that's what, what has motivated me on and off the court. And it's something that I wish I'd realized sooner. I wasted so much time in the beginning of my career where if I would have just gone the extra mile to go in and work a little harder sooner, 
who knows what could have been different. That is something that I'm so jealous of for all of you that are underclassmen. I mentioned how this time is going to go by really fast. So take advantage of everything that this school has to offer you now before it's too late. Focus on the moment at hand and do everything you can now to make your time here worth memory, uh, remembering. That goes beyond sports too. You're student athletes where we need to work just as hard in the classroom. That again is something I didn't realize until halfway through my time. But really school is something that is of utmost importance because there will come a time where we will no longer be able to play our sports and probably everything that we've learned here is gonna matter. As I mentioned how four years will go by so quickly, the main aspect that I've learned is to cherish the people around us. I know that this is probably the same for every team on campus, but my team is my family. I'll miss the matches that I've played throughout my career, but mostly I'm gonna miss the time that I've spent with my team. I've said this so many times that this is the closest team I've ever been on and probably will have ever been on. It is that camaraderie that makes us better athletes, but more importantly, it's what makes us better people. They have been my motivation and my rock throughout my journey. So I can't stress enough that for those of you that still have time left, enjoy every road trip, every practice, every double day, every lifting, because in a blink of an eye, you could be up here too giving a closing speech your senior year. I now want to take this time to talk about why I decided to come here and play volleyball. During my official visit, I came to a Wahine volleyball game where it was close to sold out and it was by far the most people I've ever seen at a volleyball game in my entire life. Right away, I could feel the passion and love for the sport that every fan possessed. It was at this moment that I knew I wanted to commit and come here right away and play for Charlie Wade. It was that special spirit that this island and state has for its sports teams that drew me in and really made me want to be a part of this UH family. Playing here is something so special and something that we should all cherish as we will probably never see this ever again in our entire lives. It's that feeling of putting on your jersey and knowing that you're a part of something so much bigger than yourself that just gives me, honestly, just gives me chills just to talk about it with you guys here. And walking onto this same court that we we're standing on uh, here tonight, and, uh, and feeling the endless love and support that every fan and entire state has for you. That's the things that I'm gonna take with me for the rest of my life. I've said this so many times as well, that you hear from all of our international players that you don't get what we get here anywhere else in the world. Especially for volleyball, it's amazing the amount of support that we get in comparison to every other team in the country. This is something that we need to understand, that we are role models for the future in this state and country by playing for this university. That our actions on and off the court affect everyone around us and are really life changing in this community. Trust me, the fact that you could walk into Safeway and have some random auntie come up to you and talk to you about how well you played last night, or just at Sandy's have some guy want to talk sports with you, those are the things that I'm going to remember and that's the things that we all need to remember. That everything that you do here means so much to everyone in the state. So, I want to say on behalf of all the UH student athletes here tonight, thank you to all the sponsors, boosters, and fans for everything that you do for us. You're what makes being a Rainbow Warrior and Rainbow Wahine so special. Without you, we are just teams playing a sport. So thank you for the endless love, support that you constantly show to all of us. That is what makes me truly blessed to be a part of this family. Thank you. Jenny Francisco with you, everybody. And once again, good luck to the men's volleyball team. They'll be flying out shortly to Long Beach. It's going to be a difficult trip. Not because of the competition. Some of them are flying United. Yes. Hope you're on the red eye and not the black eye. All right. I want to just get that joke in before we close the deal here tonight. All right.